go ahead. They go on big signals. So Bill too. called me, Don. Where he's working his way toward the spring house. He got a nice solid hit. It sounds really good, but Bill, what do you think it is? Before well, we you... just found that silver real. Yes. And it was a much softer signal. It was. And when you pinpointed it, it was softer. Yes. Now I'd both of you check it. I did. Even in the, the numbers were higher. Yes. I think it's a copper. Or I, I, a large, large coat button. I think you're Whatever right. Whatever it is, it's big. I think it's a bigger target, but it's a lower conductivity metal, such as a copper or brass item. I agree with you. I think your assessment's correct. So let's find out. Out of the hole. There, it's, it's in the in that in the it's in that dirt there. Yep. Okay, Bill. What we got? Yeah, 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 yeah. There it is. There it is. It was just what you said. Now, is it a copper or is it a button? That's a copper. Yeah, great. Can you make anything out on it? Oh, yeah, I can see a profile. Oh, yeah, there's Lady Britannia there. Seven. Gee, that is good detail. 1787. That is good detail on it. Oh, wow, you know what this is? What is it? This is a state copper. A state copper? It's a Connecticut. Oh, Lay Mackerel. C O N N. Oh, yeah. Got the money maker, yeah. Now, there, that's a fine of the day. Copper that's right a fine of the day. Holy shit. Wow. Yeah. My God, you're, you are truly the legend that is the colonial relic hunter. Well, the last couple I found were Vermont, you know, but. Uh, yeah, it's been a while, though. It's been a while. It's been a while, though. but I'll you know, tell you what, your uncle put us on the right site. You found a, what was that, Connecticut or a it, Vermont? I, I think, think it was a Vermont. I think it was a Vermont. That was a few years ago. Yeah, that that's, one. That's what that is. It's yeah. a 1787. Jeez. Uh, state copper, Connecticut copper. Wow. You know, is yeah, that... It was hand punched. You can see it's off -line. Now, let me ask you. Is that coin, is that is that a brass coin or is that a copper that's coin? Copper. It's a copper. copper. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. Oh my, that is a great. Photo. Yeah, because you can see the writing just yeah. right there. Yes. And that's the type of head she would have. Flip it over. I thought that was Britannia there, but well, that's it Lady is, Liberty. But it's, it's Lady Liberty, but that's it's that. a heavier. Yeah. Yeah. What a find, Bill. Incredible. It's a great sight, man. Wow, yep. man. Oh, man. Congratulations, Bill. Thanks a lot, man. Uh, I mean it. Man, that's something. I'm just in. <laughs> okay, I'm coming down. Just got word from the Colonial Relic Hunter that he's talking about something, about a gun. Okay. Colonial Relic Hunter, what, what, what did you find? Hey, that's a little, that's either a little pocket gun or it's a kitty gun. Let me see. Got some weight to it. You know what? That does have weight to it. You know, this might be one of those little. It might be one of those little pocket guns. So it looks like a one cylinder shot. was here. One shot. I don't know. Do you think that's a? That yeah, might have been a cylinder. Right? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Do you think maybe you should use electrolysis on that? I might do electrolysis on this one. See what loosens up. What kind of signal was that? It does look like a little barrel on there. Yeah. What what kind of signal was it? Um, it was lower than a nickel, but, but it was a a, a a good signal, and a, and a pin a pinpointed in a high pitch. Hmm. So that was yeah. Small. Well, that's good. That's good. Yeah. I don't know if it's a toy or if it's real. That cylinder on it. That's for sure. Cylinder on it. Yeah. I'm. Don't know. It's kind of like a pocket gun. And I know a little kid's gun, probably. Either a little kid's gun, but I will say they did make little little pocket guns in the 1800s like that. Yeah, you could even see, you know, a stud where a wooden handle. Where a wooden was. handle would have been on. So that's more than just maybe just a little cheap cast toy. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I, I'll tell you what. I think that's be an interesting follow-up story to see, you know, what actually that yeah. is, Bill. Yeah, it will be. I'll yeah. do what Charles said. Okay. Well. Okay. Keep us posted. We'll keep looking. All right, man.
Okay, well the signal turned out to be part of a uh, harmonica reed, as you can see. It's the one end of it. So, they were a little musically inclined here, Bill. Yeah, most people were back then. Yeah, they had no TV and... Exactly. I'll work a little bit of time. Okay, Bill called me over. Bill, what do we have here? What's up? Like a nice little bent button. Yeah. One of them drum and silver ones. Oh, yeah, similar to what Steve got. Yeah. Well, it's a thin, very thin one. So that's an early colonial one there. Hmm. Wow. Okay, well, we'll keep going. That signal sounds better now. That's nickel. Yeah, yeah. That's coin. Yeah. yeah. It was showing 80 on my uh, 7880. Boy, is that sweet sound. Yeah. In the middle of nowhere. Well, that's how you make these finds anymore. You know, anybody, including even the diggers, could do make make these finds if they were that easy. Obvious. We don't have a production assistant researching and lining sites up for us and calling up other relic hunters to steal their sites yeah, like they do. Clubs, you know? Yeah, and getting clubs to pitch in, which it, it, those clubs out there doing that, I think you're crazy. Don't give them any sites. You keep those for yourself and your members. There it is. Oh, oh there it is. So. Look, look, look. It looks monster. Oh, look. Oh, it's in good shape, too. Look at the detail. Oh. It's, a, oh, shit. it's a Spanish coin. Yes. Is it? And look at the detail. Knock that off. Oh, shit. That's great. Look at that. It's got the imprint and the yeah? oh, broke it. Oh. Oh, my God. My God. Okay, what year? What year is on that one? Look, seventeen something. Seventeen what? Seventy five? Seventeen eighty five. Seventeen eighty five. It's uh, two real. Two real. Look at that, fans. That you know what? That's the biggest Spanish coin we've ever found on this program. Yeah, that's the biggest one. I've you know ever what? Liked. And you know what? That's why you're the colonial relic hunter. Look at the detail on that. That's amazing. Look at that detail. <laughs> I'm excited. You know, you're wrong. No, that is 1785. You're right. Yeah. Oh, man. Congratulations. Congratulations. That I think that's the best find we've ever had on the show. Well, you know, that we've found. Well, we'll find some state copper that are pretty decent, too. Yeah, but that, that, damn, that's a great find. That's how you can tell it's our tubio. It's going to right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you something. It was a, a pleasure and an honor to be here to see you recover that. Thank you great, very much. It's a great find. Yep. Uh, yeah. Sitting there waiting for you for over two hours. Yeah. Yes. The Mexican, I think. Yeah. Yeah, the mint marks. Sweet. <laughs> that is so amazing. That, that so you amazing. know what? That's going to make the cover of the DVD right there, my friend. Yeah. I like that it's a little off center, like a yeah. Center. yeah, it was hand punched. Oh, like an error coin. Yeah. Gives it more flavor. This is the spot. Well, this is beautiful. Man. Man. Unbelievable. And you know what? You know what? We got the film to prove it, but there'd be people who wouldn't even believe if we told them that you found a coin like that. I don't even believe it. Yeah. <laughs> and I dug it. Yeah, that's right. Wow. All right, that's great. Do it to a fashion right here. It's in his hand. Good. Yep. Rod, Roger got like a, like a half a signal or something when we moved the log or something. There it is. Look. That's over. Look. It's a, look, it's got, a, it's got the Grand Reach and Crest. It's, it's a, I think it's a British Army button. What? Yes. Look. Oh, my gosh. Look at that, buddy. Holy cow. A gold plated. A gold... Holy shit, that's a World War II, uh, I'm a, war, I'm a, a Revolutionary War. British Army button, it looks like. Is that artillery? I can't tell. I'll tell you what. That's unique. Yeah, it is. Well, it's, well, it's missing the eye, but it's gold plated. in. Yeah. Wow, it's in good condition, man. I'll tell you, I wouldn't have found it without you, Colonel Relic Hunter. There's no doubt. There's no doubt.
old under the log trick, huh? Yeah, the old under the log trick. I mean, he just calls it all the time, and you know, man. Well, it doesn't work all the time. Not all the time, but I mean, two percent of the time. <laughs> that that's so that's good. A British Army. That's British. That's a regimental. Yeah. That's a regimental British Revolutionary War. See, I always said there was British people down here. From yeah, the but this the shows that could have been a, a British Army veteran, or maybe there was a maybe yeah. there was a garrison here. So who knows? You know, there's a lot of answers, and a lot of questions, lot and of no questions. answers, and yes. And that's why we're here. That's right. All right. Well, yeah. let's get cracking, man. Keep going, man. I'm just that Jeez. to me is my my best find. Okay, Bill, call us up. He's been up on the hill, and I, I have to admit, I I thought Bill was a little too far up the hill. But he got a great signal here. Bill, I, we tested it with your machine, my machine. My Uncle John's. I, and your Uncle John's. And, and we think it, there's a strong possibility that's a silver coin. Well, when I, I had the signal, it was nice and soft. You yes. know, with the shadow, silver it's, sounds nice it's and soft. It's nice and soft. I nickeled it, and it would be yeah. great. Ch coin check. It was good. Here, yep. I'll show you on coin check. Go ahead. And uh, it was really... Good, so, good sound. Now yes. When you pinpoint. Yes. Has that nice soft. That's what you're looking for. That is. Well, we look forward so to. So all of us, we're doing our metal detectors on it. That's right. Just, you know, check it out. Learn the machine. Uh, but I think it was a good signal. I think so too. Okay, Bill, be careful. I know, but be careful. <laughs> That's right. Bill, I'd offer you the use of uh, the pinpointer provided by our sponsor, but Bill, we don't have a sponsor, so we're on our own. Hey, right well, there. It, well, well, you see it? Right there. Holy crap, there it is. There it is. Okay, Bill. I'll give my Uncle John the pleasure. He's the one that brought us out here. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Boy. Oh, man. This is exciting. What is it? What is it? Tell me. Bill? Spanish oh. Real. Oh, my God. It's a big one. It's a Real. It's oh, man. I don't Bill, know. congratulations. It's a smoothie, but maybe my uncle can see a date on it. But, uh. Oh. Oh man, I think we should stay a little more up in this area, Bill. <laughs> well, I said it's going to be all over here. Um, Jeez. I know it was just a matter of time. Oh, I'm 1777. There what? you go. 1777. 1777? It's moved, so that oh. goes to show this place is in existence for quite a few years. Yeah, I think it was up to, you know, pre Civil shiny War. That is. Yeah, but boy, smoothie. Man. Bill, you know what? You proved you are the best. You truly are the colonial relic hunter. You are, man. Wow. Gee. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. Of the nation. That's right. That's right. Now we're here. Okay, we're here. The Time Searchers Lost Colonial Village Roundup. This is day two on the site, and we see the Colonial Relic Hunter, and those are his finds. This is a summary of what he found here, and um, Colonial Relic Hunter, why don't you tell us what we're looking at here? Well, up top, that's either a toy gun or a small boot pistol. Yeah, yeah. It does have a cylinder on it. Yes, it does, and uh, you could tell it had real, like, looks like maybe wooden... Uh, yeah. Uh, handle grip, so exactly. I, I tend to think that that's more than just a toy. Yep, and then the foul uh, found further up on the other foundation, yes. further up the hill. Yes.